Hello, I'm Robin Harris of StorageMojo.com. Join me in a discussion of InfiniBand in the Enterprise, 45 gigabyte per second file systems, modular versus cluster storage, and more in just four minutes. I talked to Flavio Santoni of LSI and SGI's Raj Das and distilled it down, just like Storage Mojo, only on video. SGI's new Infinite Storage 4600 uses LSI technology. Storage Mojo wonders, what do they bring to the high growth HPC party? I'll be back with the Storage Mojo take. Now, Flavio Santoni and Raj Das. On one side, you have SGI that is single minded focus to cater to deliver high performance solutions to the high performance computing customers, and they've done this for so many years. On the other side, LSI has always focused on the high performance computing, in addition, of course, to the general purpose computing. See, our major platform is around three areas for the company it's compute, it's storage and its visualization, which is part of our heritage, of course, and really about bringing ease of deployment, ease of manageability without sacrificing the performance that's required in the HPC storage market. Basically, one of the leading uh, suppliers to the, to the world uh, from a volume perspective. So we sell tremendous amount of volume. So we, you know, we are a true force in the storage market, simply people don't see our brand out there. How we differentiate. We have a very open source model. Um, the way we add value is, you know, being on the leading edge uh, in terms of deployment. If you take a look at our NAS file serving systems, we're the first major storage company to, to provide to the market NFS RDMA for remote direct memory access. What we're finding is the physical space in the data centers are getting completely filled out. And one of the issues with clustered storage is you proliferate, right? That's how you scale. You keep adding in blocks and then you basically grow your system. It's more on a, um, a horizontal basis. Whereas when you start to take a look at where we're going, it's much more vertical and we're finding that there is a lot of demand to have high density, right? So we're seeing a tremendous amount of need to pack in as much storage as possible in a single floor tile. The 4600 is based on the on the 7000 class product from from LSI. This is our seventh generation uh, high-end uh, product uh, architecture, and I think I think we will see that today is, is the fastest product in its class, both at the bandwidth level and the and the uh, I/O performance level, is actually 300 percent faster than our prior generation product. We've had a SAN shared file system out in deployment for a very long time, it's high bandwidth. Uh, we've clocked it at upwards of 45 gigabytes a second through the file system. Um, it's called CXFS. Um, it's used a fair amount where um, our clients need an extremely fast file system. We are seeing more and more uh, in some segments of the commercial space that they really need that high performance capabilities and they're looking at InfiniBand as one of the ways you know, InfiniBand com combined with the high systems that deliver significant bandwidth of the class of the, the 4600 from SGI or the 7000 class from LSI as a way to solve their high performance computing needs still inside the potential commercial type uh, customers. The Storage Mojo Take. HPC is a huge growth market. Making it easy though is hard. SGI's focus on deployment is smart. CXFS's performance also impresses. Cluster versus modular? Both have a place. Modular should work better in fat node clusters. I like InfiniBand. 40 gig kit means current shops will keep it. But 10 gig ease management is a big advantage. Comments welcome. As always, I'm Robin Harris.